here's my portrait printed out A4 black and white and I'm going to show you some of the common mistakes. The first one is that people draw a triangle for the nose which I think looks pretty awful. The other thing that people do is if they have a mouth that's open is that they draw teeth and I think that looks pretty awful as well. So um, the other thing that people tend to do is just do the outline of their hair, which I think looks like Lego hair, which is not great either. So I'm going to show you the techniques that I use. So the first thing you want to do is just follow down the outside of the face along the chin and stop. The outline of the ear and a little curve in there. So less is more along the top of the nose and just a little side. If you want to, you can do a couple of little lines for nostrils, but I tend not to. So if you take that off, do you like that look or not? I'll just show you that again. This one, I'm gonna go quite minimal. So what you leave out is sometimes just as important as the lines that you draw. So I'm just gonna do little C shapes for the nose, along the eyes. Make sure that you're doing the curve. Don't draw right round, because you can't actually see that on the eyes and it will make you look kind of creepy. A little bit in here, a little bit for the reflection. For the eyelashes. Okay, for these, don't make the eyelashes, uh, the eyebrows, sorry, shapes. Just do little subtle bits of hair if you need to do them. Okay, with the lips, do the centre of the lips a little bit like this. Okay, but not too heavy handed. Um, if you want to go even more minimal with the lips, You can simply just do a line underneath, a line on top, and a line through the middle. So you can go even more minimal if you want to, like that. Okay, I'm going here, this is the one I was doing. Again, you might want a few pieces of plastic to practice with first. Now with the hair, I'm gonna just follow some of the lines rather than draw the outline, which again, makes it look like a helmet, Lego hair. Okay, again, I keep picking it up and just checking. Just along the shoulders, the neck, and basically that's it. So now I can take this out and I can decide what I want to add. So I'm gonna practice first, so I'll get another piece of plastic over the top, just so I don't wreck the drawing I've already done. I actually want to do a little bit more detail in that nose, it looks a little bit odd. So I'm just gonna have that line along there and a little bit on the tip there. Okay. So I'm just going to say, if I wanted to do some cool headphones on, just to make sure that they are the shape that I want in the right spot. Okay, so I'm drawing it over the top first so I can see. If I'm happy with that, I can lay it underneath and draw it on my actual copy, like that. Okay, again, maybe I want to experiment, maybe I want to make it obvious that I'm listening to music, because I love listening to music. Draw some musical notes, do I like the look of that? Do I want to reposition them if I'm happy? Here. Great, and because I am an art teacher, maybe I want to put some pencil, maybe 
paintbrush. Maybe some little symbols that mean something to me. Maybe some hearts, things that you might like in the background. Whatever you want, if you want that. Okay, then when you've got your, um, if I want to trace those, again, I'll just make sure it's in an interesting spot. Trace it on. Pop it there. All right, now let's talk backgrounds. So we can lay our work over the top of some different paintings. So this is just a watercolour background I quickly did. I've got some coloured paper. So once you've got your outline, different colours, test them underneath. Maybe you want to collage this. Maybe you want a combination, go a little bit pop art with it. Maybe I want a different colour in each square like this. Yep, kind of cool. So I could cut them out, glue them down on a backing sheet. Maybe I want to create a watercolour effect. Do I look better over orange, pink, blue? I'm kind of a blue, pink person. So maybe that's what I want. Uh, maybe I want even more texture. Maybe I've got some found paper that I want to put under. Okay, whatever sort of effect you want that expresses something about you. I've got this print I did. Whatever you find. And then create your background when you're happy with it. Laminate it. And we can frame it and it's ready for display.